Welcome to our home, Oakland, California. In Oakland, the cost to build new housing has become so expensive that too few affordable units get built and too many residents can't afford quality housing. One of the obstacles that stops us from building more innovative, cost-efficient housing is the city's outdated zoning and building regulations. There are just too many restrictions to what makes a home a home, and ultimately, who can afford to live in that home? We need to move beyond a one-size-fits-all approach to housing. To solve this problem, we need to update our zoning and building regulations to make Oakland's housing rules more flexible, more sustainable, and most importantly, more affordable. We need to embrace new, innovative forms of housing construction and implement rules that reflect the way Oaklanders are living today. Now, we are proud to announce the Construction, Innovation, and Expanded Housing Options Ordinance. After two years of research, we've developed a comprehensive law that redefines home to allow our residents expanded options and more access to homes that people can afford. This ordinance would allow people to live in RVs and tiny homes that are certified as safe and healthy on private property. Remove the existing ban on mobile homes and manufactured homes create flexible rules for smaller efficiency dwelling units. Remove certain impediments to building modular housing. Establish more flexible requirements for tiny homes and certain alternative building materials. These changes can create a historic amount of new housing options and, when taken together with our other housing strategies, will improve housing affordability for all Oaklanders important to to have the ability to achieve housing um, at a very uh, approachable rate uh, and that's that's what the potential legalization of tiny homes in Oakland would offer tiny homes are just this this magic tool to uh, have you know a safe affordable place to live who lives here um, gardeners pedicab drivers carpenters mechanics uh, social workers teachers, we're mostly middle class, working class folks just looking for an affordable space to live. RVs, tiny homes, this is, this is a way to, to stay. It's a, way to, it's a practical way to keep a roof over your head, be insulated from the environment, and have a, a steady eight hours of sleep. Um, and the only issue is these laws that prevent it. I'm Carol Galante. I'm the faculty director of the Turner Center for Housing Innovation at UC Berkeley. I'm also an advisor to Factory OS, this remarkable uh, company that is changing the way we build, and that's where I'm sitting right now. Uh, I've been very excited to hear about the initiative that Oakland is starting around how to really help uh, more developments that use innovative construction techniques uh, to be able to be built uh, faster and less expensively in Oakland, including you know, some zoning code changes and um, other expediting types of measures. So it's really exciting, and I have to say, uh, Oakland is clearly going to be a model for what other communities can do to facilitate um, getting the cost of um, housing down. For the individuals who will live in these developments, um, they're actually going to get to live in this development and maybe off the street much faster, like half the time that it takes to build uh, housing our traditional way. And so that's really uh, the most important thing that I can say about this type of work is people are going to get housed faster. Um, whatever public money we're putting into developments is going to go farther um, because it costs less. Uh, to build these developments and um, at the same time you're you know building great union jobs. Well I came to Oakland in 1978. Um, I've always told people that it came with $300 in a duffel bag <laughs> and a couple of phone numbers. When I got to Oakland it was a real not only acceptance but appreciation for differences and that's how I raised my children when I got back here and couldn't find a place to live, it, it was horrible. Even though I saw hundreds of vacancies, but there were vacancies that there's no way I could touch them. This, this has been a perfect
perfect situation. There's a sense of community here. We look out for each other. Right now, it's given me a sense of peace and a sense of um, independence. A law allowing us to remain here and other people to be in similar situations, it would give me a sense of security because without this, I, I don't know where I would wind up. I wouldn't probably be able to stay here and then I'd have to go someplace else and I don't know where that would be. Because um, part of the reason that I came back was to be closer to family. We are our brother's keeper. You know, I'm not extremely religious, but we're connected. And we all owe each other whatever help we can offer. So that law would make a difference in a lot of people's lives.